What is the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of Diwali? Of course, it's crackers. Diwali is the festival of crackers, isn't it? Well, this video is not about eco-friendly Diwali or say no to crackers. Nothing of that jazz. This video is all about celebrating the real Diwali. In other words, banning crackers. We all know crackers cause sound pollution, air pollution, but what's the big deal? So does your car. We all know that firecracker industry employs children and hence promote child labor. They suffer from several diseases because of the chemicals and every now and then someone gets burned or meets with an unfortunate incident. But what's the big deal? They're at least getting paid for it. Some of the arguments by cracker lovers are as follows. The Indian firecracker industry is worth 6,000 crore. Now you want to ban it? Well, the Indian beef industry is worth 30,000 crore. If we can ban it to protect cows, why can't we ban crackers to protect humans? Why always Hindu festivals are targeted? Crackers are a part of our religion. No, crackers are not part of our religion. The oldest reference to Diwali is linked with Lord Rama who came on earth in the 10th century. Well, that's just a few million years ago. And firecrackers were invented about 2000 years ago and that too in China. Firecrackers scare evil spirits. <laughs> well, if that's true, then why don't they burn crackers in all the haunted places in the world and get rid of all those ghosts? Okay, but they do help in getting rid of all the harmful insects and mosquitoes in the air. So you want to say if we add poison in your food, it will get rid of all the germs in it? Yes, of course. I mean, not.